Viewers and subscribers, welcome to Guyanese News, where we discuss news about Guyana and the diaspora. And today we have some news about former local government minister Nigel Dalimral, who was spotted on Kingston Seawall with his new fiancée. We have some exclusive photograph and video we are going to share. Then we have Roshan Khan, the CEO of RK Security, who have some special word for the government of Guyana and Darim Lal that every Guyanese need to see. But before we start up this video, subscribe, thumbs up and leave a comment to Guyanese News for the more trending and breaking content. As Nigel Darim Lal was forced to resign in disgrace as a local government minister, Nigel Darim Lal was spotted on Kingston Seawall in the company of a female, sent tongue wagging in Guyana and on social media if Nigel Darim Lal find a new girlfriend and she is over the age of 16. Viewers and subscribers, make sure you subscribe to Guyanese News for breaking and Guyanese content. Well, we all know Nigel Darim Lal resigned in disgrace after some serious allegation was made against him. We have Roshan Khan. We are going to play just now on a video who is making some serious, serious claims against the PPP administration and in Darim Lal indirect. This whole video is about the local, the former local government minister who was spotted on Kingston Seawall with his new girlfriend. Leave your comment in the comment section if you feel the government, the former minister should resign from being a member of parliament because he's not on the bench no more of honor is on the shame bench on social media. So check out Roshan Khan explaining what should happen to Nigeria Dalimla. Even though the victim does not want to press charges or continue with the story. This is Roshan Khan from Guyanese News. Like, subscribe and share. Head of a man found in a shopping bag was that of one accused of rape and other crimes, and who was on the police wanted list. The head had identified that of Rohan Barrett. Now that sounds like an Indo, like an Indo Jamaican. In Jamaica, they do have Indians, and they have particular enclaves, even though they blend and mix in the entire country. But it looks, um, to my opinion, some. Um, some of my people might want me to say that, but look, um, no man is an island, and uh, not all men are saints. So, you know, this is in the raw, so I was just about to sneeze. So, I had to stop it and fix myself. The head identified as that in the raw. So in the raw, so the man head in Jamaica, Rohan Barrett, was found severed from his body. They chop off his head as rapist. The head identified as that of Rohan Barrett, otherwise called Black Seed, a resident of Porus was found about 6.30 a.m. in a shopping bag at the fruit stall at Whitney Turn in the community. Up to late Thursday, Barrett's torso was not found as the body. From the neck come down, they can't find his body. Hayward McLean, a vendor, said he was alerted by residents that Barrett's head was found at his fruit stall. When I got the call, I came down here and saw the police draw long yellow tape and said I cannot open the shop until they finish. It is a crime scene, he said. Wow, what an afternoon, uh, my friends and families. They carry the head 
come put down in front of the stall for somebody to see it. He added, McLean described Barry as a well-known troublemaker in the poorest area. Him do a lot of crime in the community. So him have to run where we go, go may pin, I mean a lucky up or something. Him do a crime, I may pin, him do a crime in tongue. They don't want him a tongue. So him half come back a porous and hide and sleep in a tree and a broke people place. So he hides in trees in the tongue, the haunted tongue, he get away. He can't stay in the tongue. So he's living tree and so on. Then he breaking into people place. Said McLean. All the residents who gathered at the area where the severed head was found described Barret or Barret as problematic. Him name Carl, him name Carl, following the rape of a woman in the community since year. And him did run away and hide. So over a year, he, his name was calling for that rape. Said one resident, a senior police source corroborate the allegations against Barrett. He is wanted in relation to a case of rape, burglary, assault at common law, and unlawful wounded committed in Whitney Turn, Porus, in February of this year, the police source said. So, it is an interesting way how the Jamaicans deal with certain kinds of um, elements in criminality, particularly in this case, rape. They took a whole man's head off. And let me see what else I can give you in the Caribbean, as I'm in that mode at the moment. Apartment building collapse kills 14 in Brazil, in the raw, the regional, in the raw. A residential building collapsed in northeastern Brazil, killed 14 people. Civil defense officials said on Saturday, as the last missing people were found lifeless. The collapse occurred on Friday in the Janga neighborhood on the outskirts of Recife, the capital of northeastern state of Peram, Peranambuco, Pernambuco, Pernambuco. The apartment building collapsed during heavy rains and struck the region while many residents were still asleep. According to a statement from civil defense, three people managed to survive the collapse, which cause remains unclear. Three people survived, 14 killed, in a statement from Civil Defense. On Friday, officials had already reported eight deaths. Governor Raquel Lyra of Pernambuco expressed her condolences on Twitter, pledging that the state government would spare no effort in assisting families in need. Recife a coastal city with around 1.5 million residents has been grappling with heavy rainfall in recent days. So we in Guyana, we get some rains and we quarrel and we fight and we blame our government as if they caused the rain. People are blocking the drains and the gutters, throwing cardboard boxes and plastics. Even when it is clean, they dirty it up again and so on. And we get some rains. Sometimes up to the ankle, we get uh, some water, and then we want to kill the government. And the rains are acts of God. Drainage is usually caused by the acts of Guyanese indisciplined citizens, and not necessarily the city or the government of Guyana. Now closer to home, something that will interest us. Two dead, output impacted after fire engulfs the Mexican oil platform. 
Two workers died and another remaining missing after a raging fire broke out early on Friday morning at an offshore pl platform run, run by Mexican state oil company Pemex, Pemex, just off the southern edge of the Gulf of Mexico. In posts on Twitter, Pemex said it had accounted for all other workers and said oil production had taken a major hit from the blaze. Videos circulating on social media showed the massive platform and its tangle of pipelines engulfed in flames as nearby boats sought to douse the fire with hoses. The platform operates in the company's Cantarel field, once one of the world's most productive. Earlier in the day, Pemex said six people had been injured in the fire, which it said started at Nohawk A platform and then spread to a compression platform. Well, you really can't see it much here. But this is the photograph showing the fire.